Yeah, because voting for Democrats always works out. Oh, no, it doesn't. Especially if you're a business owner or a homeowner or just someone walking down the street. It's not looking good for you. Now, I get it. Republicans aren't that good anymore. They, they want to stop me from killing babies and I have to vote left. Okay, what, what has that gotten you? More crime? More chaos? In the city streets, your businesses are getting destroyed. And what does the government do? Nah, nothing. What do the police do? Hey, go online, fill out a complaint form. That's it. There's no, there's nothing. Oh, oh, they got they got insurance. Yeah, but after numerous break-ins, your insurance rates will necessarily skyrocket. Now, let's play this video because this goes to show you that there's a lot of idiots out there that will continue from now on. They will continue to vote dem for Democrats just because they voted for Democrats in the past. Their parents voted for Democrats. Their grandparents voted for Democrats. They earned the union. And they will keep doing this over and over and over again. And caught on camera at a local construction company in L.A.'s Glassell Park. Several thieves are involved. And tonight that owner tells us he's frustrated. This whole strip has been broken to. Our neighbors have broken to four times. These guys just got broken to two months ago. What are we supposed to do? We're a small construction company. Ryan Bagley. Oh, and believe you and me here about folks in Lazaland. Just wait till he <laughs> reveals how he voted or voted in the past. And ask yourself, does he deserve this? We'll see. The latest victim on this Glassell Park Street to get burglarized by several thieves, so many... It's hard to count as you watch them file into and out of Bagley's business, Delta Construction and Electric. They smashed into our gate over there, smashed their gate into here. 15 dudes come pouring in. Delta security cameras capturing the destructive mayhem about 5 a.m. Wednesday morning. Now, before we go any further, notice that blue boxy car right there. There's a interesting fun fact about that one. Let's, they'll to let you know about it. I'll, I'll save it for them. The getaway car, this blue Kia Soul, Bagley says, was stolen from LAPD's impound yard. The cops just knew that it was from the LAPD impound because of the chalk mark on the window. There you go, folks. You would think the police out there that would be a little more interested in someone stealing a car from the impound lot of the LAPD. You'd think they'd be on the target for that, you know? They'd be like, oh, wow, a secured area of the police department broken into a car stolen oh yeah we know that car yeah that's uh that was stolen from the police impound lot how how was it stolen how was secured facility broken into in a blue city in a blue state how how is that i wonder why or wonder how that kia soul taking out a gate so the hooded suspects could make entry hooded wink wink nudge nudge quote marks Hooded suspects. Right. Can't imagine who. Never mind, anyways. Hi. You are currently being recorded. Inside, they took whatever they could carry, including music equipment. Bagley and his brother, former band members, stored inside. You can hear the alarm and spot a guitar. Let's go six of our guitars, a bunch of studio mics and stuff like that. Rustled some stuff out, some some uh, construction in our construction side. They stole a bunch of tools. Thousands of dollars worth. All of his equipment, music equipment, construction equipment, odds and ends, mis miscellaneous items, sundry items, all taken away by 50. You saw how many people were there, right? There were 15 mofos right there just picking away at stuff. Where are the police at? Well, they've been defunded, so they ain't around. And why would they care anyways, you know? Worth of valuables, demolished doors and gates. Bagley says the alarm company woke him at 5.03 a.m. when the break-in was still underway. And he managed to get there even before cops. But the suspects were gone. He got there before even cops arrived. Huh. Imagine my shock, if you will. I came in ready to rustle them out of there and just be like, you know, I'm, I wanted to at least take down a few of them. His business now boarded up and Bagley is fed up with the break-ins and elected officials. I voted for Karen Bass. I voted for Biden. I voted for Gavin Newsom. I'm sick of it. There you go. We don't need to play any more of this video because it just ends and whatever. Quoting from this chucklehead here, 
I voted for Karen Bass, who is the district attorney in Los Angeles. I voted for Biden. I voted for Gavin Newsom. I'm sick of it. Huh. You know what there, tough guy? Um, This is completely your fault and I don't give two craps. I'm glad this happened to you. I'm actually ecstatic. I'm actually happy. I'm actually going to I'm going to dance a jig here in a second after I get done with this video. I'm glad this happened to you. This happened to you because you're a complete unadulterated moron and all your friends and family who, by the way, probably voted for those three idiots deserve everything that happened to you. And matter of fact, I think you deserve even more pain and suffering. 